Christmas wasn't the same without you. I'm really glad you made it back this year. It is a period film, but then in the sense that it's still very modern in the sense that a lot of the themes are still unfortunately relevant today. I think there are still uh, shades of coming out that haven't been completely explored. You know, it's still like this earth-sharing event, you know, it's not, it's, and I don't know when it's ever going to go away where people don't make it into a thing anymore. Especially if you come out to a group of people who are going to accept you, like family and friends who like, you know, welcome you with open arms after you tell them what's going on. But then there's a lot of these people back then where they don't have the option of saying that, you know, like there's this idea of like, you can't just, I mean, you, you know, you can't tell your family that you're sick because then they would think, oh, that means you're gay. So then why did you call me today? Why are we doing this? I just want to see you one last time. For me, it was kind of some sort of awakening, you know, uh, where I wasn't really able to articulate, you know, what I was going through, like, and then also muddling it with what was happening at the AIDS epidemic at that time where I felt like that the information that I was getting from even from the adults and the teachers in my life it was there was a sense of there was like no separation between um, AIDS and the gay community like it was the same thing you first realize that oh I'm gay and then you're like oh I'm gonna die of AIDS like that's almost like really I feel like that's like a really screwed up way of kind of coming to terms with something. I've been to six funerals this year Things haven't shifted that much, you know. It's like there's still this element of like, like AIDS stigma, for instance, is still a real thing, even in the LGBT community. The film kind of opens up that conversation again, where it's like asking yourself how much has changed. But I also was interested in exploring, okay, what's the idea of hope in that context? Like what's, in the context of like, okay, let's say certain things will never change. Is it still possible to find hope in that situation. And I think that's what I'm also trying to explore in the film too.